Understanding the data on a graph is a crucial skill when working with coordinate planes. For each of the points on our graph, we're going to work to determine which ordered pair best represents their location. Let's start with this point here in the middle on our graph. In an ordered pair, our x-axis always is represented first. So we need to check to see where this point lines up on our x-axis. We see that this point lines up with the 4 on our x-axis. So in this ordered pair, the x-coordinate would be represented with a 4. We then check to see where it lines up on our y-axis. This point lines up with the 5 on our y-axis, so its y-coordinate is going to be represented with a 5. This point is going to be represented by the ordered pair 4, 5. Remember, ordered pairs are always inside a set of parentheses with a comma separating the x and y values. Next, let's focus on this point here at the top of our graph. For this point, we can check and see where it lines up on the x-axis, and we see this point lines up with the 6 on our x-axis. So its x-coordinate is represented by a 6. Comparing it on the y-axis, when we come across, we see this point lines up with the 10 on our y-axis. So this point at our top of our graph is represented by the point 6, 10. If we compare it to this point here on the far right on our graph, we can see that this point has an x-coordinate of 10, and it has a y-coordinate of 6. Comparing these two points, we see that they use the same digits, 10 and 6, but they use them in different orders. Which one is the x-coordinate and which one is the y-coordinate makes a big difference in their location. We always need to make sure our x value is our first coordinate and our y value is our second coordinate in our ordered pair. Fractions and decimals can also be part of ordered pairs. If we look here at this point, we see that this point is going to fall between 0 and 1. Since the scale on our x-axis is counting by 1s, and this point falls about halfway between 0 and 1, I can estimate that its x value is going to be 1 half. Coming across on the y-axis, we see it lines up with a 3. So the y value would be 3. So this point would be represented by the ordered pair 1 half 3. To finish off our last point, we can see that its x value is going to be represented by the 7. Coming across on the y-axis, we see it falls between 1 and 2. Our scale on our y-axis is also counting by 1s, so since our point falls about halfway between 1 and 2, we can estimate its value to be about 1 and 5 tenths. So the ordered pair representing this point would be 7, 1 and 5 tenths. When we're working with ordered pairs, it's always important to make sure we have them in the correct order. We start by determining the location on our x-axis, and then we determine its location on our y-axis. Remember, our ordered pair should always be inside a set of parentheses with a comma separating the x and y values.